safeties but have since been lifted. We check in with weather authority meteorologist Violet Skyber on what is still in effect. Some areas of the southern tier are still having that watch. Yes, they've continued those flash flood watches just for the southern tier, and that's okay. actually the locations that saw the most rainfall mm -hmm. last night. So they're very vulnerable right now for the rest of this evening. Definitely keeping an eye on those areas. There's already a flash flood warning just outside of our area in Subban County, that light green shading there. They're seeing some heavy rainfall in some of the showers and thunderstorms right along the southern tier. So this is a live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. The activity is going to stay south this evening and tonight, but the showers and thunderstorms we are seeing have the potential for some heavy rainfall and gusty winds in the heavy rainfall on top of the soaked ground and the high creek levels from all the rain we got last night is creating perfect conditions to see some flooding, which is why we have that warning in effect and we could see more this evening and into tonight. So here's what you can expect this evening. The flash flood watch continues for the southern tier and we could see some more warnings going into tonight. Things look to quiet down with just a couple of isolated showers. Most areas look to stay dry with some patchy fog then heading into tomorrow. The chance for some severe storms and the potential for flash flooding continues mainly for the southern tier. So here's what's happening. We have this area of low pressure with a warm front, but it's pretty much sitting across the southern tier as a stationary front right now. But as this moves inward, we're going to see showers and storms tomorrow afternoon and evening. We have the potential for some of them to produce gusty wind, which there's a, a threat for some of them to become severe. But also the main threat is actually going to be that flooding because we've already gotten about three inches of rainfall in some spots last night up to about an inch of additional rainfall in the southern tier for this evening and could to see one to two inches more through Syracuse and the northern part of the state looking at tomorrow afternoon and evening. So again for this evening seeing showers and thunderstorms south of Syracuse along the southern tier, which is very vulnerable for flash flooding. Definitely keep an eye on our weather authority app for any updated warnings as we go into tonight. Things quiet down with an isolated shower possible lows near 70 degrees. Then that activity fires up in the afternoon to evening tomorrow with scattered showers and thunderstorms. The potential for that heavy rain to cause more flash flooding. And here's a look at the rest of your forecast. The rain continues even into Wednesday. We'll be monitoring for flooding then and some hot and humid air moves in for Thursday and Friday.